Hello Flight Simulator fans, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, it's been a long time. I've been flying the crap out of this DC-3, so I thought I'd make a video on it. We're going to fly from Burke Lakefront here in northern Ohio. We are, as you can see, the uh, plane is rocking and rolling. We are right on uh, the you know, Lake Erie. So there looks to be some pretty gusty winds. Um, and I expect that we will have some eventful departure. <laughs> Uh, flying the Air Services DC-3. This is the classic. It's not the retrofitted one with the uh, GPS. So we'll be flying a uh, VOR to VOR to VOR and then to an NDB. And then we will land at uh, KOSU, hopefully. This thing, <laughs> it does not want to come out of the sky. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway. Let's go ahead and uh, hop inside of the aircraft here. I am running FS Realistic today, uh, but I'm not going to... There's a walk around feature, but I'm not going to do it because I just did it and it, like, broke the plane. Um, it, the, the other engine wouldn't start. It was crazy. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, we got the ground power for now. We'll open this up because we are getting ready to yell clear a prop. So let's go ahead and hit on our position lights. Let people know we're getting ready to start up. And uh, we'll hit that guy on. Clear prop. Clear prop. And there we go. And then this guy is, starts in the left positions for some reason. That's a bug. And there we go. We give that a go. We should be... Ready to rock and roll. Oh. Crap. That was my fault. That's a missed start. That was my fault. Yep, I blew that one. Here we go. One more try. <laughs> uh, we'll turn that off. We'll re-energize. Come on now. Be good to me this time. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, see, now I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. That might start. It did. <laughs> uh, this under here, there's your parking brake. Uh, we need to set these on. Yeah, I, I, I'm a little bit uh, frazzled because I just had a crazy prowl. It just it's ruined like a 40 mo What is it doing? Can't tell if it wants to run or not. Uh, anyway, I think it's running. <laughs> All right, let's do the same for the right engine. I mean, I don't know what's happening. I have flown this thing several times, so... Something does not feel right here. Okay. I mean, we're probably not supposed to do that, but... <laughs> wow. All right. Um... Let's check the weather. What is that? Control. Uh, that's why it sounded weird. <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, I forgot to put us uh, on the battery off of the ground power. And uh, we got 127.85. It's actually Cleveland, but it'll work. Ooh. Disability, one zero. Sky
All right. <clears throat> um, actually, I should check, because we are going to depart properly. I guess I should have checked their ATIS. Okay. I'm sure it's the same, but... Ooh, that's even worse. Runway heading is 2-4, so... A little bit of offset. Perfect. Okay, and we will be departing to the west. Okay, we've got taxi clearance. Okay, I also want to get this ADF set. I should have done this before I called them, huh? 515. Five. This is the uh, Fullerton, or Fuller. I, I think it's Fullerton. Uh, NDB. Okay, let us come down here. Get rid of this guy. And let's see, what's our temperatures looking like? Uh, close enough. Okay, our RPMs are a little high. Oh, did they say 2-4 left? That's funny. 2-4 right. It gives us a little bit longer of a taxi, but oh crap. Man, this thing is sluggish to turn. Uh, this thing has a tailwheel uh, lock. I never use it. It does not really seem to work very good. Um, I, it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't help me when I'm taking off. doesn't help me when I'm landing. I, I mean, I never spin this thing. Uh, now that I've said that, watch, we'll spin it. <laughs> I mean, on landing, I'm working it down the runway, and it, my problem is, is it the freaking thing won't slow down now part of that is too my approaches haven't been very great a lot of times i come in i'm too high and it's like i you know i gotta push the nose down i get a bunch of speed and i gotta bleed that off coming down the runway and it's it's pretty rough so um hopefully this flight will go a little bit better but it's this this beast is a little bit of a challenge <laughs> i just realized i have a i have a um a 10 700k processor i thought i had a 12 700k i'm like so far behind now i gotta get a new processor and a new video card because this thing oh my god in vr forget it i gotta turn it i gotta turn everything down to low end to fly the dc3 and get a decent frame rate turn off all the online stuff <laughs> Yeah, this one's weird because there's a, a you you could if you were on autopilot just keep taxiing and you go right past the end of the runway. Now this thing when it takes off, boy, it wants to it wants to swing. Okay, so we gotta. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. A minute. Oh no, no crap, 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 crap. Wrong, wrong, wrong runway. <laughs> That's two four left. Come on. Come on. I've got to get that mod. There's like some kind of a mod that they made for this because the performance on this thing, I don't think it's right. I love the plane. I, I think I could fly this thing all the time. We'll use this autopilot too. This autopilot is pretty pretty wacky. Uh, but it works. Um, okay. Is it this one? Yeah, we got to hold short right there. I'm going up here right here. All right. Come on now, turn, you beast.
Oh, look at that wind. Oi vey, we are going to get... We'll be get off the ground quick. <laughs> All right, so we go take off power until we're 100 feet. Um, off the ground and all obstacles have been cleared then we roll back to 2300 rpm and 35 inches manifold pressure climb at about 400 feet per minute uh, I, apparently that's the max climb according to the documentation i read so uh let's get the tower Great. So now this will. So now this will actually count, because <laughs> I've taken off, and I have like ten takeoffs and 147 landings. <laughs> because I never clear it with the tower. I'll tell you what product I'm looking for, and we'll talk more about this. Have you guys seen it? It's uh, the first great use of AI I've seen so far beyond ATC. Like they're going to do AI air traffic control. Oh, it's going to be sweet. All right. I'm holding down a little bit of forward pressure here until we kind of get this thing going. But then you got to be, uh, you got to work the, you got to work the rudders the whole way down. Like, I am just working them back and forth right now, trying to hold that level. Okay. Oh, easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it. All right. Coming up on 100 knots. That's plenty fast. Oh, I didn't check the trim. <laughs> Programmer Airlines. Okay. We picked up our uh, VOR right there. And I'm going to pull back on this trim. Well, no, we're actually coming down on 80 knots there. So, 80 knots, that's your stall speed. Thank you. Lakefront Tower November 221 Papa Alpha. Continue for West Departure. Alright, we are Yeah, we are more than a hundred above, so let's back off engine RPMs to twenty three hundred. And uh thirty five inches manifold pressure. Let that nose drop a little bit. We only want to be climbing at 400 feet per minute according to the the operating procedures I saw. They were for Quebec Airlines or something. Um, we're gonna get settled in here. Let's see. What's uh? Let's get this. Let's get this autopilot working for us. Our up oh, wrong way. So where are we headed? Two five. Two, two five zero roughly. Whoops. Okay, yeah, we're climbing way too fast. So I'm gonna trim down a little bit. We'll get some speed. I'm gonna take my feet out of these rudder pedals because all I do is disrupt the flight. <laughs> okay, let's get back on track here. Gear up. Duh. All right. Hey, man, this is top quality flying entertainment right here. So what if we forget a few things? <laughs> Yeah, that beyond ATC, I'm actually really, really excited for that. Um, I think if they, I mean, they could make that work. And if they can manage to pull that off, that will be a great, great tool. All right, we turn on the autopilot here. We push this guy. Okay, awesome. All right, good, we're clear. Okay, so let's make sure we're tied. Oh, I have to, I think I have to push that in. 
Sorry, there we go. Two five. Hopefully two five zero. Okay, we're locked in. And now what this is is you can force this down. Turn this knob right here. And you see your vertical speed goes down. So we only want to be climbing at 400 feet per minute. So we're going to keep trimming that up. It's basically like an elevator autopilot trim thing. I thought that climb speed seems awful slow. Also, there's a pretty cool feature here. Um, there's an auto, um, auto lean here on the... There's auto lean and auto rich. So I'm just put it in auto lean and I'll let it handle everything. <laughs> uh, let's see, we better open up those cow flaps. All right. All right, yeah, we got a, finally got a decent climb going on. We're, I mean, at that speed, I mean, I'm flying it. We'll level out here. We'll go down to uh, 2,050 RPM and uh, 28 inches of manifold pressure and just be cruising 170, 180 uh, miles per hour. This is in miles per hour, I think, which is, uh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, this will fluctuate a little bit. It's not really locked in, so if you happen to, the wind happens to change or... You start generating more lift for whatever reason, and it you got to use it to... Now, here's the problem. It's like you're constantly chasing the needle, right? Uh, DJB, not far from here. I think, it were, I think it's uh, it's just up ahead there, up here. Um, I mean, it's a VOR, but there's also some... Uh, I think there's an airport right there. Uh, we'll make our turn. And let's see. I don't... I didn't document my um, didn't document the headings I have to fly. <laughs> Hopefully, Sky Vector, Sky Vector cookies, yes, Sky Vector saves the flight plan. Uh, let's see. Yes, we're gonna come off two one nine to the uh, our next VOR, which is the Mansfield VOR. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, that uh, Beyond ATC is going to be very, very cool, I think. So that's, uh, we'll wait and see what happens there. Um, there's, we haven't even talked about this whole new flight simulator game. I mean, they're, they're like changing it. They're releasing a new version. It's like, I was like, what? Uh, because usually you get like 10 years between releases of flight simulator. Not so much. Uh, so they're releasing this new version, and I'm just wondering what's going to happen to this version. I mean, this is a great version. I would want it to be supported by Microsoft, by developers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen there. If I, I'm not going to be happy if I have to buy the other version now. The other version looks kind of cool, but um, I, I don't know. I, it, I'm not so much into the, oh, here's this, oh, it's a wildfire, and so we'll start you out in the air, and you're flying right at it, and, like, maybe if you could start from the ground and do the whole thing so it was actually, like, simulated, maybe? I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm pretty on the fence about what they said. We'll have to see how it turns out. But, uh, uh, that was pretty wild. What do you guys think about that? I mean, as long as this one still works, I mean, I guess it would be nice to have updates, but we'll probably level out about 5,000 feet. We don't have to fly real high today. And I want to make sure I have you know, ample time to get down, so the less altitude I have to lose, the better. <clears throat> Let's lock this baby in. We'll back our RPMs down to cruise mode. 28 inches of manifold pressure. Oh, crap. 
Oh, boy, is that so much nicer. <laughs> this is a noisy beast. I better make sure this recording is working. Hello. Okay, good. Yeah, I had Sky Vector on top of it, so... All right, looks like we're finally coming up on our uh, VOR. Uh, we're going to be flying by it here in just a second. So let's go ahead. I'm going to lock this one in. And what did we have? To, what's the heading on this one? This one is uh, 219 according to this. So let's swap this over. Okay, it's got it. And let's see. We got to do it like in this direction yeah right is that it yeah right there all right maybe that's a little too far we'll swing it back And you do got to constantly be watching your altitude because, like I said, yes, this is an autopilot and it is because I hand flew it um, for several flights and it it does get old. I mean, it's fun, but y it's you're pretty active. Oh, I forgot to dump some of this fuel, too. Look at all this fuel we got. We're on the there's the left main. I think that's like 90 gallons. Right main's got 90 gallons. Right aux got 90 gallons. <laughs> Left aux has got 90 gallons. That's way too much fuel. I have to be a little bit... I have to remember that next time I fly. All right, we are on our way now to Mansfield. Oh, that water's good. <clears throat> Yeah, just water today. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy. Yeah, I have not been flying. I had to uninstall. I know this is going to be a cardinal sin for you people on the channel, but I had to. I had to do it. Had to uninstall Aerofly. Just, the thing takes up so many gigabytes on my hard drive. I needed more space. So I had to uninstall it. And honestly, I went back to it, and it is fun, but after having the, just the feel of X-Plane and Flight Simulator is just a little tighter, you know. I know Aerofly is, you know, it's mainly for the mobile market, and they brought it to PC, which I think is a good idea. I have spent a lot of time with that game and enjoyed it. I bet I have over a thousand hours in that game. I, I can almost guarantee it. Um... But, uh, you know, um, I don't know. The, like I said, the feel in Flight Simulator and X-Plane is just so good. I love the, the real wind. I like being able to fly at real-world airports in the area. That, I always fly in Ohio. All right, starting to get a little bit low kind of see I've been working this dial back and forth trying to keep it just right now Mansfield is only 35 miles and then we got 26 miles to the Buckeye VOR and 33 miles to the uh, NDB and this is the NDB right here uh, it's called a radio compass <laughs> Uh, which is fair, and it and it's just like a the ADF in a Cessna. It's just like a needle. It points at where you're going, just like what we're doing here, basically. Uh, I think that's the wrong way. We need to bring it this way. Just a little bit. So yeah, and that worked really well because I did test. I did test this before. I, I know you guys. You guys think I just do this impromptu, but I actually prepare. <laughs> it's a lot of work to do one flight. I've been flying this thing a lot, just trying to, I've been trying to just enjoy it, you know. 
without having to worry about making content for it. Just kind of learning how to fly it as best I could. I said, man, that descent is brutal. You want to give yourself plenty of time. That's the thing, too. No DME. So it's a little bit hard to tell. In fact, I think on Sky Vector, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pop over here. I'm going to try to identify something in between. Okay, so we're going to do a flyby on an airport on, uh, Delaw on Delaware. And that's when I'll start the descent. That's after the Buckeye VOR. That's 109.8. I got that written down. Yeah, okay. Hey, that's a plan. That is a plan. I do like flying this. I don't know. The jets, once you, you know, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of the process in just the startup and everything. It's like once the air, once the autopilot's on. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could do failures and stuff like that, but it's really, you're just like, oh, ho, hum, ho, hum. <clears throat> this even still keeps you a little bit involved, right? Like you can't just go completely hands off with it. And yeah, working windshield wipers. I don't know how effective they are. They look pretty small. Yeah, I thought that was pretty neat right there. I was like, ah, how do those work? I guess we get a passing light. Oh, it doesn't turn on. Let's see, I don't know what I don't know what that one does. It doesn't even have a label on it. I don't know what a lot of this stuff does. Um I, I it's not mentioned anywhere. The documentation is so scant. Damn, easy. He does it. Uh, that's good. We're holding at 5,000. Hold on now. There we go. Definitely a lot easier than hand flying. I did see... What was I watching? I was watching a video on YouTube. I have to check my history for it, but... they re th There was this product for Flight Simulator that's like... Pilot career. It's exactly what you would always want. Where it just like generates flights for you and stuff. And then you fly around and you, you, know, you get basically like currency... And that you can buy new type ratings. You know, like you probably start out in a little Cessna. And then you get better and better ratings as you, you know, progress uh, through the system. It sounded really, really cool. I would love to check that out. I'm, gonna, I'm going to check that out. Um, why do I feel like we're flying crooked? This thing must be getting some wind from the side. We better check in on Ohio State and see what the weather's like there. I hope it's better. <laughs> Uh, give me 121, oh boy, 35. Ohio State Okay, yeah, well, uh, 278 at Niner, at least the runway heading is, it's like 275. <laughs> uh, so that'll be pretty much head on. Now, the only kind of issue we have is that the Fullerton uh, NDB is to the, <clears throat> to the west of the airport. So uh, we're going to have to hit that, and then we'll have to kind of enter on the, um, the right downwind to... Um, two seven, uh, left. So no biggie. Give me a little bit more time. Oh crap, we're climbing. 
Nose down, nose down. Let's hop outside. Oh, come on now. Oh, that is so cool. Beautiful. I have to get my landings reviewing because I can land this thing. It, it kind of depends. Like sometimes it goes good. Sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time I can at least keep it on the runway. You know, like that takeoff was pretty good. I'm about to seriously invest in some new rudder pedals. I think there's a set. It's like a, like a, a really nice Thrustmaster. They're kind of like Boeing style, I guess. I don't really care as long as I put my feet in them and make the plane. But they're supposed to be real precise. They're expensive as hell. It's like $500 or something. Uh, so that is a lot. Um, but I don't know. I think I'm to the point where, you know, I've been using these cheapies for a long time. And they were 100 bucks. I mean, they weren't, for, they weren't cheap, cheap. <laughs> I think $100 for rudder pedals is a lot of money. Uh, but I, what do I know? I'm a, I guess I'm a cheap ass because it doesn't seem to fit with the market. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to eventually pulling the trigger on those. And, uh, I mean, there's tons of reviews. I don't need to do a review on them. But um, I think it'll make a big difference. All right. We are cranking along about 170 knots. That's pretty much what my experience has been. We are... We are sipping fuel right now. I'm guarantee you we are doing good on fuel. How are the temperatures? I notice over here that the temps run high. And notice the carb temp over here. Is that is that actually the carburetor temperature? Wouldn't there have to be one for each engine? Oh, carb air. Carb air is just uh, anyway. I'm just wondering if it's running so uh, nice and warm like that because we have it in the auto, um, we have it in the auto lean position, the mixture. Uh, kind of descending a little bit, but we're a little bit above our 5,000 feet, so that's okay. Looking good. I think let's go ahead and. No, why do I keep doing that? I keep turning the wrong way. If I want to, if I want to go right, I got to move the dial right. But yeah, after the first few times of flying this without this, oh hey, vey. <coughs> that was uh. It was a, it was so gr I was like, that's an autopilot. I saw a video on it on YouTube. It's like sweet. I can't believe I didn't find it. But like I said, there's no documentation. How are you supposed to learn anything about these things? <clears throat> this is downright hypnotic right here. What is the range of the VORs in Flight Simulator, I wonder? I'm going to say maybe we could use that as a measuring <coughs> tool. You know, um, let's see, well, we're coming up on our thing here. Yeah. 
Now yeah, this is uh, going pretty fast. It's our next VOR. 109.8. Yes, we'll need to start descending soon. Ah, we still got a ways yet. Yeah, 26 miles after we pass this waypoint, which it looks like we're doing now. So our new heading is going to be 238. Well, we were pretty much right there anyway. Yeah, I think that's the I don't have it yet signal. <laughs> At least I hope that's what that means. Ooh, we're getting some shaking here. Now we are kind of revving up a little fast, but... I mean, we're holding steady at 5,000, so I'm not sure why that was happening. I think I allow for failures in the sim. But I don't see anything wrong right now. Ohio is so flat. <laughs> this is the flattest terrain. 26 miles to bud. A little bit less probably now. And we actually are doing pretty good on... Uh, on our uh, power here. And we're making good uh, 170 knots, 170 miles per hour. That's pretty good. If we flew higher, I just I can't I can't bring the airplane down. It it does not want to come down. I'm going to bring it. Let's see field elevation. I'm going to be down at 2,000 feet. <laughs> I'm going to be so low when we come into into the vicinity of that airport. Uh, there won't be any way I can mess it up. Man, that scenery is so amazing. Man, we live in good times. We're good flight simulation times anyway. Come on, nose back up a little bit. There we go. Got some backup controls over here on this side. So got an additional uh, vertical speed indicator, um, airspeed, slip, oh, altimeter too. I didn't notice the altimeter. So uh, co-pilot stuff for everything if you wanted to use that. What's this over here that reads zero? Oh, de-icing pressure. Can that make sense? Waking light, was it? Warning, warning lights, okay, whatever. I still don't know where the gear button is in here, so I've been using the G key on my keyboard. <laughs> I do have to find that. Damn it, I did it again. I'm never going to get that. At least we picked it up, finally. It's a small victory. Notice when you do a turn how your vertical speed changes. Again, limitation of the autopilot there. So, landing. Uh, <clears throat> you got to get down like 80 knots with full flaps. <laughs> uh, if you're low enough when you're on approach it's not a problem but I swear I read in the manual that you're not supposed to, and this is where I think the performance of this aircraft is just off um, 
you're not supposed to go below 2050 RPMs and 20 inches of manifold pressure, according to the documents I saw. And this plane, there is no way. I'll be running at idle trying to get the plane down. You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. I'll show you. You'll see. Um, it, there is, um, you can uh, uh, hammer the prop pitch, uh, you know, just so it's running max RPMs. That adds a little bit of drag. And, uh, of course, bringing down, initially bringing down the, uh, landing gear is is a, a nice air brake kind of, but it is not enough to do the job. And we are just a couple degrees off. Holding right about five thousand. We'll hit uh, we'll hit bud. We'll turn one nine six, and then. Uh, you start seeing Delaware Airport, we will start our descent. You know what? I'm going to start it before that. <laughs> I'm going to start it before that because I do have to get down to 2,000 feet, and I want to give myself plenty of time. I mean, it's 33 miles. That's That's so much time. I know. I'm paranoid. I just know how this thing is, man. It, it just does not want to come down. It doesn't want to land. But I think given all my experience leading up to this flight is going to serve us well. Cross his fingers. Um, I would really love to pick a plane... I, I don't know. Jets are fun, but I'm kind of tired of them a little bit. I would like to do more with like missed approaches, uh, doing an approach fix, um, hold on approach. Uh, is Bud right on an airport? Ah, oh, this might be us right here. What else is on the way? Wow, I don't see anything else in our flight path. What's the radio that we're coming in on? What's our heading? Two, five, two, four, five, something like that. Yeah, I think that's us right up here. <clears throat> so that's good. Make our turn 196. We don't have the Fullerton VOR or VR NDB yet. This will uh, start pointing in that direction once we do. But uh, make sure we do our good fly over here and come off of this one at a proper, proper angle. Start making ready to come into KOSU. this airport marion municipal it's uh uncontrolled as a matter of fact no we flew through cleveland airspace <laughs> uh let's see they're down to <clears throat> down to three thousand yeah we th we flew through cleveland so we probably should have established contact with them but outside of that we didn't violate anybody's airspace It's not bad if you only violate the airspace of one airport on a programmer airlines flight. Yeah, I think this is our guy right here. I thought this was an airport, but now I'm thinking no. <laughs> yeah. I think we can start turning this lumbering beast. That should be about 196 right there.
And we're down 4,000 feet. I like that. We've just kind of naturally been uh, descending. Real slow-like. I'm just going to leave that alone because we're doing A-OK -okay so far. Uh, we should start to see some of the typical Ohio, uh, Central Ohio landmarks. We're going to have Lake Erie coming up and ultimately the Scioto River when we get closer to the airport. Man, that thing is cool. Love how it's like all beat up. We are just jamming. Uh oh. <laughs> Accidentally bumped the throttle quadrant. <laughs> there are RPMs, okay. Yeah, everything's sitting pretty. Nothing changed too drastically, so. A lot of open land out here in Ohio. And it is no lie, flat just like that. <laughs> Don't forget to uh, leave your comments and your flight suggestions or anything you might want to see down below. If you've got any tips for making this better, I do know about that add-on, this DC-3 specifically. I do know that there's an add-on product that you can get that's supposed to make it better. Um, so, I was, I was shocked to find that you could not buy a DC-3 like a quality payware DC-3. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Um, so, since I since I can't find one of those, the next best thing is to, um, you know, make this one as good as possible. So, I'll probably check out that mod. But outside of that, if you know anything else that's going to make it Sing. Man, I'll tell you what, there is somebody, you know, I sold my house and I live in an apartment now. And, uh, I've, there's some lady that lives in the next block of apartments next to mine. She gets DoorDash three times a day. <laughs> she must be rich. Every time I get DoorDash, it's like 30 bucks. Uh, oh, look, we did. We picked it up finally. Sweet. There we are. So it's just like the other things there. If we gotta, if we wanna go, we wanna go right. We gotta move the. We gotta move that right. Well, it might not be that far though. Let's let's let's. Okay. Yeah, maybe it is. A little bit off on our approaches, but that's all right. I could fix that. I'm just, I'm not really that concerned about it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's keep going, shall we? A little bit more. About 3,900 feet. Nice, slow descent. Still maintaining all of our speeds. So that's good. 
And right there is Alum Creek. There are two stretches of road that go across it. There's uh, also, um, I think that's Hoover Dam in the background. Hoover Reservoir back there, back behind it. Whoops. Sorry. I really need to get my track IR out for these flights. And I figure it's almost like a VR flight, like I'm moving around too much. A lot of people don't like that. <laughs> Wow, um, temperatures are running low. You know what? We're going to be in low RPM operations, so I'm just going to leave it like that because it's going to warm up. I'll warm up on approach. I'm going to switch into the auto rich position with the mixture there. And uh, yeah, we'll be seeing, uh, we'll be, we'll be able to see OSU. I, I'd be surprised. Is that it right there? I think I can't. No, it's not that soon. I thought I could see it, but no. No, we do have a ways to go yet too. Um, we should be passing uh, Delaware. So I do kind of want to do kind of want to increase this descent. So I'm going to go down to <coughs> excuse me, 20 inches of manifold pressure. And then we can uh, nose down a little bit here. But it's time to get low. I mean, this way, I just when you cut down that manifold pressure, you can, you don't have to worry so much about your um, a, a descent like this causing you to overspeed. I'm getting down to 2,500. <laughs> it's too noisy for the people on the ground. Too bad. Wow, we're really overspeeding a little bit or close to it. Let's, uh, let's back that down just a little bit. A little bit less aggressive. Let's go ahead and roll with that. Feels low. I'm not really too worried with how we hit the NDB uh, from an angle perspective because we have to uh, we have to fly anyway around. We have to fly around. Oh crap! We definitely got to watch what's happening now because. We're getting low to the ground, so <laughs> like we were descending uh, pretty wildly there. He does it now. I'm trying to keep the speed up as long as possible. Because you guys know me and my approaches. I had, when I flew this in VR, it is so cool. <laughs> Even though I have everything turned down to, you know, low end. So there's a river. 
that crosses right over our runway. That might be it over there. Aha, there we are. Yep. All right. Well, so far so good. At least we found the airport. <laughs> small victories, right? No small victory. Let's uh let's keep this altitude up just a little bit. I'm going to bring that manifold pressure back. Good. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and autopilot off. And let's start trimming out some of this speed without gaining a whole bunch of altitude, please. The flaps also function very strangely on this. Um, you're not supposed to be able to stop them in between. Uh, but if you hold it down, it will go all the way to the end. If you barely tap it, it stops at varying degrees along the way. So, um, yeah, I mean, look at this. It's like I, I've got almost we're not descending at all. <laughs> <laughs> We're down to 120 knots. That's good. But I don't want to, you know, I don't want to drop down the gear yet. Actually, we don't need to go all the way to the Fullerton VOR or NDB. Um, let's go ahead and make a turn here. Watch that vertical speed. Don't you climb on me. No. Bad. All right. We were actually below 112 knots there, so that's good. That's good for this point in the process for me. I like that. That means I can put in a little bit more. No, because we're still climbing. <laughs> I try to keep the RPMs where they are, right? Uh, what do we got here? Where are we? Okay. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait a bit yet. Make sure we get a little separation from the runway. There's a, there's an opportunity to lose a little speed. Easy, easy. Yeah, this thing, it behaves bizarrely, but I love it. I want a good one. Oh, that screen tearing. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose my mind. All right, let's go 15 inches of manifold pressure. See how that see how that treats us. We want to be down, like I said, field elevation is 900 feet, 905. So I want to be at 1,900 feet for approach. i got to get my feet in the rudder pedals here. And we're pretty much coordinated. It does turn nice, you know, like you can control it. It's just a little slow. Easy does it. He wants to pop the nose up right there. There she is. KOSU. You trim up a little bit here. Get some more flaps here in a second. Hold that manifold pressure up a little bit. Just leave it right there. <laughs> Easy does it. No climbing. 
No climbing allowed. I do want to lose some foot. I do want to lose a few feet here, so. I don't want anything drastic to happen. Just nice controlled. No. Does it need to, does it need to drop that much? This is exactly how I would be talking to my plane if it was in real life. I wonder, do I have a view? I wish I had a quick pan off to the left. I, gotta, I have to add that. 2,300 feet. So we're going to go a bit. I mean, we're going to go a ways. Damn, I, I keep losing my lateral separation from the runway here. And uh, <clears throat> I don't need that. I need more room to operate, not less. Hold steady, got a nice four, three, four hundred feet descent rate, then it pops back up to normal depending on the wind. Okay, we are pretty, yeah, we're going to go a ways. I don't know exactly where my turnaround point is for this plane, but we'll find it. <clears throat> In the meantime, we can drop a little bit of altitude. what it's all about no all right I think um, I think we should turn I think it's been long enough. Let's do it. I'm going to start letting that nose drop too. Not too much. Oh, I did not get much. Not by. Here we go. It's going to be another fun landing here. <laughs> Full flaps. Ooh, the plane is all messed up now. <laughs> Mixture full forward. Go props full forward. Okay, this is high, but if we keep losing, you know, I, I mean, I've even slipped it in, you know, I've, I've had to, so I'm, I'm going to make sure I'm really, uh, you know, I would, I, I, I need a flat approach profile here. And I also don't like that. It doesn't feel like I'm quite in the right spot. Okay. Okay, pappies are looking good. Uh, I think we're going to be low, though, so I'm going to actually... What is this? I, I, I need to increase power? <laughs> this is not something I've ever had to do on an approach in this plane, but it does look like it because the nose is dropping a little bit too much. Speed's good, 90 knots. Three green. Landing lights. a little bit too much a little bit too much easy does it easy does it not enough too high we're good we're getting too high here come on baby come right there we go good job very nice here we go easy does it I 
I want to get down a little bit here, but we're looking good right now. Approach speed is good. Come on, nice and easy. A little, a little bit rough. Okay, the flaps up. Back on the, back on the yoke. Come on, easy, easy, easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it. I'm telling you that I have full brakes going right now. We made it. Woo! <laughs> well, we didn't wipe out at the end at least. Good lord. Like and subscribe if you dug that landing. I'd appreciate it. I'll be doing some more videos, guys. You know how it is. I go in phases. Sometimes I go a long time without making any videos. But This is good. Now, here's the thing. I think there's a guy over here. He's like a flagger. But I got to be way up like this to be able to see him. What'd you guys think of that landing? Leave your comments down in the down in the comments. <laughs> I thought that was a good landing. In this plane, it's one of my better ones. I mean, yeah, I bounced it a couple of times, and that was at 90 knots. I thought I was down to 80. I'll have to watch the replay, but. trying to be nice to this guy I don't think he realizes I have to finesse this thing up to him <laughs> why am I steering with the I can't see him anymore <laughs> I'm just going to assume this is good so I don't kill him. I feel terrible. I feel terrible if I hurt that guy. All right, here we go. See, we're gonna... See, I didn't have the tailwheel lock for that, so I don't even know if that's accurate or not. I wouldn't think you'd have such an easy time putting it down if... Uh... Uh, well, and I say easy, but it's relative, I guess. It, it did work out fine. It wasn't the best landing, but I thought it went pretty well. Um, let's go ahead and... Get everything shut down here. Very good. Let's continue. Uh, hey, we did get a takeoff and a landing, so that's good. Uh, that FS realistic right there, that needs to be modified. Let's go ahead and uh, turn that guy off like that. Let's come on over here. Turn this guy off. Um, flaps are... Oh, crap. Okay, good. The flaps are in. That's it. <laughs> I don't know what that was. We were below the world for a minute there. Look at that thing bouncing. So cool. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, keep your eye on the channel for more content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.